टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन रिले कंट्रोल सिस्टम एंड आवर एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू स्टोरी द डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए सिस्टम विथ एन इंटेंशनल नॉन लिनरिटी ए सिमुलेटेड रिले एंड इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट्स लाइक सेटिंग अप रिले करेस्टिस्टिक लीनियर सिस्टम देन आइडियल रिले देन रिले विथ डेड जर्न एंड रिले विथ हिस्ट्रीस हेयर वी हैव कनेक्टेड द सर्किट फॉर आवर सेटिंग ऑफ रिले and we have applied sine wave to the relay and we kept this dead zone and hysteresis to zero position and the output we have taken from the relay output in this case we have to apply 2 volt sine wave peak to peak and 100 to 200 हर्च फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड दिस इज आवर रेस्पॉन्स लेट्स मेजर द इनपुट हियर इट इज सोइंग आवर इनपुट चैनल वन इज टू फोल्ट एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी वन जीरो सिक्स Now we have to change the display to X Y mode. Now, when we are changing the dead zone or hysteresis position, this shape will change. Let's change our dead zone position. Keeping the hysteresis at zero. Okay. This is the range from zero to ten. Step by step, we have to do from one, two, three, four, five, six, like up to ten. Okay. Let's increase it to five. Okay. Here we can see this shape is changed. We have to measure this voltage. and we have to measure this voltage by using our channel setting here we can see our channel setting is 500 millivolt both for x and y or channel 1 and channel 2 so calculating the divisions of a block we have to find out the voltage okay we have to do this from 0 to 10 position of the dead zone and find out the voltage next is our hysteresis part for hysteresis hysteresis part we have to keep the dead zone at zero position and increase this position of the hysteresis from 0 to 10 and we have to find out the same voltage Of the ten number of positions. Let's say I am keeping at position five for this hysteresis. I kept here this dead zone at zero. With this position five, here it is the response. It is the gap between two vertical bar, and we have to measure this voltage between this bar, and we have to do this from zero position to ten position, and note down it on our table. Next is our linear system 
for that we have connected this gain and system with this sine wave 1 volt peak to peak and in this case we have to increase this frequency range from 40 to 1000 and we kept here our gain setting at 10 and in this part we are going to do the ellipse method we have to measure the a b x naught and y naught in different frequencies let's i am increasing a frequency then this shape will change so the value of a b x naught and y naught will change according to the frequency and we have to note down those values and put those values on our table next is our closed loop system using linear part means we have to bypass the relays and we have applied sine wave 1 volt peak to peak sorry sine square wave square wave then we have added the error detector here then gain then system then this is a closed loop system okay. and the frequency at 10 to 20 hertz we kept here at 10 so this type of response is coming with this setting we have to measure the mp tp and ts next is our ideal relay means we have to add the relay part here you can see this is relay gain system and this is a closed loop h we are doing ideal relay we have to remove the input and the output will appear like this if this kind of output is not showing then we can give a momentary step input okay so in this case we have to measure this output voltage peak to peak and frequency next we have to do is relay with dead zone and relay with hysteresis in this case also we are not applying any input and we will change our dead zone and hysteresis step by step okay let's say i am starting with dead zone only relay with dead zone only for this i am keeping the hysteresis at zero here you can see this is your response with dead zone at zero now i am increasing the dead zone we can see here our frequency is decreasing and our peak to peak voltage is increasing and with the increase of the dead zone the sine wave is disturbed so we have to note down the frequency and peak to peak voltage at different position of dead zone for the table next is our hysteresis and relay part means relay with hysteresis only for that we have to reduce the 
dead zone to zero and we have to increase the hysteresis now from zero to ten and the same like previous part like dead zone only we have to note down the peak to peak voltage and frequency here i am in increasing the hysteresis position we can see the frequency is decreasing and peak to peak voltage is increasing so in this case also we have to note down the different values at different positions of frequency and peak to peak voltage for the tabulation.